to sing about now. And I want the world to know just why the moon's a glow, why stars are winking up above. I'm in love. I have something to sing about now. My heart is so full of song, just couldn't hold it long. I want to brag a bit of love. I never knew, never knew why the robin spent hours her singing sweet little diddity diddities to the flowers. I thought he sang just because it was spring time, but now I know it was love, for I have felt the same thing. I have something to about now. featured vocalist with Terry Rooney and his orchestra. And now it's time to say goodbye to our old friend Terry. In a few hours, Terry will be on his way to Hollywood to make a picture. Good luck, Terry, and success to you as a movie star. What's the use of my sticking around here when he won't give you a night off? <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you both. But I'll be back. <laughs> goodbye, Terry, and all kinds of good luck to you. Goodbye, Joe. All good luck. Good Thanks night. so much. Goodbye. <laughs> Up the air, Mac? Yep, it's all yours, Terry. Thanks, friends, for a wonderful send-off. As you probably know, Hollywood calls. And I'm about to trade close-ups with Montgomery and Taylor and uh, that other big good-looking fellow, oh, you know who I mean, uh, Gable. And uh, may the best pro field win. <laughs> and now, by way of saying goodbye... Hit it, you cats! <laughs> What are you squawking about, Happy? Well, you had to carry a doghouse around all your life. Here we go, boys, here we go. Gather around, gentlemen, and five. Yeah, we are. Champagne, champagne, and more champagne. A cup of cashmere and a tray and some glasses. Put down there. Come on, wrap yourselves around some of the champagne. Champagne? Woo! What is all this? One last drink before I go, boys. One last. Ah! Success, success, success. I thought we get all our goodbyes done here. Boy, this is goodbye in anybody's language. We'll call it our Beatles name. Now, look, I don't want anybody to come to the train with me. Oh, now, wait a minute, no, Terry. No, no, no. I get embarrassed standing around saying goodbye, goodbye, goodbye for a half hour. Makes me self conscious. Anyway, I'll be back in a couple of weeks. I don't know. If they get you out there in Hollywood, make one of those movie heroes out of you. You mean I'm a cinch? Can't miss? I ain't kidding. You wouldn't toy with me? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'll be back. I mean, while you're all set, I've seen to that. Anyway, I'm leaving Rita with you. Where is Rita? Rita! Hey, Rita! I'll Rita! Hello, will you? Hey, Rita. Rita, Terry wants to see you. 
Come on, Canary, get your nose wet. And uh, you don't think I'm going to leave my baby for long, do you? Yes, we vote for you. So now, I'll feed the boy. Good night, all. So oh, hello. Here we go. Hi, I got a job for you. Yeah? Yeah, dig out the wedding march of Lohengrin. Wedding march? Still a good tune. We'll give it a shot in the arm. You make a nice arrangement, something sweet and hot. Well, what do you want to do with that old tomato? Come on, Jake. What do you need, a blueprint? Oh, I know what you mean. You, you mean something like this. That must be Rooney. Come on, kids. Terry Rooney? Yeah. I'm Hank Myers, publicity department, Gay Studio. Studio. Glad to meet you. How are you, Terry? Come on, kids. Okay. This is Jan, Joe, Hello. Eleanor, and Dora. All right, out of the coach, kids. Come on, we got work to do here. Hurry it up. Huh? We'll shoot them right down there, Eddie. There you go, girls. Line it up. Give me that smile now. Hold it. That's good. Next. Hold that. That's good. Next. That's the one. Hold that now. Good. There we are. That's enough, kids. There you are. Into the coach. I'm oh, sorry. All right, cars are outside. Okay, Terry. Car for you, too. Come on. Hi, sis. How do you do? How do you do? Morning, honey. How do you do? Name's Rooney. Mr. Regan. Oh, Mr. Regan. Yes. Mr. Regan. Mr. Hank and Mr. Rooney are here. Yes, sir. Go right in. Thank you very much. Thank you. How do you do, Mr. Regan? No, no, happy to no, see you. no, no, that's not Regan. That's his secretary, Eddie Burns. Well, hello anyway. Hi, Mr. Burns. How are you? Mr. Regan is expecting you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, V.O. Here's your new leading man for any old love. Name's Terry Rooney. Hi, Mr. Regan. I'm very happy to be here. Hmm. Oh, so you're happy to be here, are you? You're happy to be here. Of course you are. Hollywood is the natural goal of any actor's ambition. Oh, you're wrong, V.O. He's not an actor. He's a hoofer. Hollywood is the natural goal of any hoofer. And Bennett O'Regan will try to make you an actor. Thanks, Mr. Regan. Thanks very much. Come over here. Yes, Mr. Regan. Come over here at once. Come to my office immediately. Uh, in Hollywood, Mr. Uh, uh, Rooney. Rooney. Yes, thank you. In Hollywood, Mr. Rooney, we create. 
we create not only pictures, but actors and actresses as well. We create and, uh, and mold them. We even try to mold hoofers. You'll find that out, will you? Uh, please, please, uh, don't turn away. I, I'm speaking. Oh, I'm so sorry. The hair, you always comb it that way? I, uh, yes, yes, I do, but uh, I can change it if it's important. Important? Im important. Here they are, grief, trouble, and worry. Gentlemen, yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. This is Mr. Terry Rooney, who is to play the male lead in any old love. Mr. Easton of the makeup department. The hair line. Gracious. It belongs on an entirely different face, Mr. Regan. Well, fix it. Hmm. So easily said. Mr. Daviani, our wardrobe expert. The clothes. Gentlemen don't wear clothes like that. Uh, of course, of course. Uh, that's why I brought you in here. Mr. Farney, our dialogue director. Speak to me. Why, it's, uh, it's rather hard to think of anything to say. Would you mind to repeat this once more? I said it was rather hard to think of anything to say. Once more, please. I just said it was rather hard to think of anything to say. Thank you. Impossible. The addiction, those arcs, it will take months. And the voice is not in the mask. I place him in your hands. Gentlemen? Yes, yes Mr. Dregan. You have work to do. I want to shoot him in two weeks. Yes, yes Mr. Dregan. <coughs> you see what I mean? In breathing, you must remember the diaphragm. Very important, like this. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I, uh, I thought I knew how to breathe. I've been doing it a long time, you know. Please. Now, once more for the diction. Uh -huh. See? The Duke blew on the hunting horn, and he laughed, ha, ha, when the hounds came running. Like that? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. The Duke blew on the hunting horn and laughed, ha, ha, when the hounds came running. Please, don't do as I say. Say as I do. A bit lower, 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 yes. The Duke blew on his hunting horn and laughed when the hounds came running. Please, not Duke, Duke. I said Duke. Not laugh, laugh. I said laugh. Laugh. I want to hear those pear-shaped bowels. Pear shaped. Which end of the pear? <gasps> the Duke blew on his hunting horn and laughed when the hounds came running. The Duke blew on lower. his hunting horn. The Duke blew on his hunting horn. A little horn. higher, please. The Duke blew on his hunting horn and laughed when the hounds came running. The Duke blew on his hunting horn and laughed. But, ah! Mr. Rooney, please. <clears throat> now look, I'm a quiet, peaceful kind of a fellow, and I'm willing to stand here all day and let you stick pins in me. But one more tickle and I'm going to break off a leg and wrap it around your neck for a scarf. I'm sorry, but the coat must be perfect. Mm -hmm. The Duke blew on his hunting horn and laughed when I... Uh, would you mind pulling your coat down just a trifle? You pull it down. Uh, thank you. The Duke blew on his hunting horn... <laughs> and laughed when the hounds came running. If you don't mind, you distract me. The Duke blew on his hunting horn. Was that pear shaped enough? You're just aggravating me. Oh, who's there? I'm just whipping up a batch of pear shaped bowels. When I look at that hairline, I could almost cry. Wait a minute. Just a minute. I want you to see this. Now, it'll help. You can take my word for it. It'll help. Now, there. They're Robert Taylor. Now look, I've heard all I want to hear about Robert Taylor. This pan of mine may not be anything to boast about, but I'm not going to wear a widow's peak. But I, 
I've worn this face of mine a long time. I've washed it, I've shaved it, I've sung with it, and more than once I've fallen on it. And if Regan doesn't like it, I'm going to take it right back where it came from. But I will not wear a widow's peak. Savvy? Oh, look at the man Yes, the Academy Award. Oh, I'm nice. But which picture did you win it? Well, we uh, haven't won it for a picture yet, but I thought it'd be nice to have it around and sort of get used to it. Yes. One get used to so much in Hollywood. Uh, Yes. Uh, never mind. Uh, Steffi, uh -huh. uh, did you see the rushes of Terry Rooney today? Oh, yes. I saw the rushes of him. He's all right, I suppose. But, uh, all right. But I am not interested in your baby stars. No? No, 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 no. For my leading man, I must have an actor. Uh, well, of course, Steffi, I know that you have the privilege of choosing your leading men for your pictures, but in this case, I think you're making a mistake. <laughs> But I am not running a school for acting. Uh, no, Steffi, you certainly are not. I demand a supporting cast at least worthy of my talents. Well, Steffi, we'll think about it. Uh, uh, goodbye, dear. Au revoir. Huh? Oh. The egotistical little mink coat. What does she think she's doing? Who does she think she is? Take a letter. Yes, sir. Miss Stephanie Hales, Gaylor Studios. Dear madam. Where's Blake? On the set, rehearsing Terry Rooney. I got a seat. That sound ready? Already. All right. How about you, Terry? Have you got the lines that he wanted to run through them again? I think I know them now. We can make a shot if you like. All right. Let's make a take. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on. Hurry up. Oh, that's another right. Just remember, bear shape. Mere shit. Come on, come on, let's go. Very important. Come on, go away, let me alone. Come on, let's go. Will you get this thing out of the way, please? Come on. Quiet, please. Roll them. Speed. Action. Oh, Holly. Miss Emily was to be here at 8 o'clock, wasn't she? Lane. Mr. Lane. Ha! Okay. All right, relax, everybody. I saw the Russians this morning, and the boy's great. He got it, Blake. <laughs> he certainly surprised me. But I don't want him to know it. Ball spoiled Stephanie Hales by telling her how good she was. I'll tell him no good. How can you expect me to get a performance out of him if I continually tell him he's no good? Well, you tell him it'll take five years to make an actor out of him. But don't let him see the Russians. And I'll fire anybody who tells him that he's good. If I'm as bad as in this picture as they say I am, I'm going to do the sensational nose dive of the century. It makes Honorable Master very happy to joke with humble servants. It's no joke, Ito. At least the director doesn't think so. Yes, please. Honorable Master would like humble servant to bring dinner? No, no, thanks. I'm sick and tired of eating in this joint. Yes, please. You know, Ito, you're the only one around this studio who will even deign to talk to me. And all you can say is, yes, of course. Would you rather that I spoke ordinary English, sir? Is that you? Yes, sir. My former employers felt that the accent lent a certain dignity. Now, look here. You're not going to stand there in all this heat and tell me this Japanese lingo is an act. Oh, very much so. Pull up a chair. Sit down. I want to hear about this. Tell me about yourself. I came here aspiring to be an actor. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't mold you, huh? They didn't even try. Well, tell me, how do you like being a gentleman's gentleman? Oh, very much. As an actor, it was a long time between meals. What are you doing for dinner? I know of a place on Hollywood Boulevard where they serve wonderful Wiener Schnitzel. That's right. Can I come along? <laughs> it's rather embarrassing, but uh, it was a young lady that I had... Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even mention it. Forgive me, will you? Well, uh, you're probably late for your date now. You'd better go on. Oh, well, thank, thank you, please. Come on, now, we don't stop kidding me, will you? Thank you. Will thank you, you, please. Will you go on? Go home? Oh, There's the topper and the payoff. A 
Japanese who speaks better English than I do. And the weakest, a wiener schnitzel. Oh, it's too much me in my weakened condition. Hello. I want to put in a person-to-person -person call to New York City. Yes, please. <laughs> Oh, hello, darling. How are you, Canary? Darling. How are you? Oh, lower than a whale's foot. Silly. A whale doesn't have feet. Did you ever see a whale's foot? You'd be amazed. Hmm? Oh, it was funny when I first got in. I thought I could handle it, but... Kind of getting under my skin now. Well, listen, let's not talk about that. I'll... Let's forget it. How are things with you? We've written a new song. You have? Come on, sweetheart, sing it to me. I don't care if it costs a million. Go on, shoot. Oh, wait a minute, Doc. Wait till I get comfortable. Okay, darling. Go on, rend me a Sunday. Tell me a book. Go on. Oh, Hurry, money. Hurry. Ready? my heart. Any more of this and I'll cut my throat. I'm that homesick now. Can you please hang up? No, don't need me anymore. You do. All right, boys. Boys on this camera. Now, listen for just a minute. I want you to take this boom up as far as it'll go and give me a shot of the complete set. You got that? All right, take your boom up whenever you're ready. All the lights, are they all set? All set, Mr. Blaine. Now listen, boys, everybody, please, 
Hey, Rooney, don't play with the props, will you? Andy, Andy, Andy. Sorry, never mind. mind. Yes, come on, please. Let's get to work. This is the last shot in the picture, and let's get it right. I don't want much of a fight here, but I do want it to be good. You understand? All right, everybody on your toes now. Oh, by the way, Terry, come here. Never say to fight before, have you? No, never have. No fight, eh? No. Well, don't let it worry you. It's perfectly simple. Mm -hmm. It's all a matter of camera angle. Now, you see, we'll get in an angle so that when he makes a pass at you, it'll be like this. See, but take it. Let your head go back with it. All right. Do it again, eh? All right. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. That's it. Simple as that, huh? Simple as that. Well, uh, tell me. Do those other boys know how to do it just as well as you do? Oh, yes. Don't worry about that. They've been doing it for years. That's fine. <laughs> By the way, you're not afraid, are you, Terry? Oh, no, no. I don't care how hard they suck him. I didn't make a thing he has on. I hope somebody at last would knock a pear-shaped vowel out of him. Yeah, I hope so. I haven't sucked a greenhorn actor in months. Get a load of this. I heard your remarks, son. You're not afraid of this, are you? Say, will you do that again? Perfect. It's all right. Where are you traveling? Want me to drive? Yeah. Close? That's fine. Yeah, you'll do it. Good enough? Yeah, fair. Thanks. Thanks very much. Oh, too bad. Too bad, too bad. All right, come on, everybody. On your toes. Let's buy it down now. Make this thing, I think. Come here, boys. I want to explain this thing once more to you before we start the shoot. Now, Terry. On camera, you're coming down the stairway. You understand? Joe and Eddie are hiding back there. Oh, as you get oh back, like this. Jump down. Jump back. Mm -hmm. Then uh, I just eat to take a poke at that chin. You should land. Well, I should say about here. Right about there. Right about here. Oh, fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Come on. Let's make a take. Right. Camera's ready. Right. Sound ready. All right. Quiet, please. Johnny, got your number. All right, come on. There. Take the place. That's it. That's fine. Thanks. Fine. Take your places now. On camera. Turn them over. Feet. Camera. My force. Keep that camera going. Shut the door. Close that up. Keep it going. Get on out of Up behind there. Get all this. yourself on the first plane for San Francisco. I'll meet you at the airport. Oh, I'd love it. Well, well where are we going? Oh, I don't know where we're going, but we'll be far away from where to make motion pictures. All right. I love you, darling. Well, I'll be waiting. Bye-bye, darling.
anyone confused Captain Zion. Where are we going now? City Hall for a license. Oh, sweet. Uh, I've got a confession to make. Well, if it's about another girl, I, I don't want to hear oh, it. Oh, no, no, it isn't that. I've got to tell you that my name is not Terry Rooney. I'll break the real one to you very, very gently. It's, uh, it's McGillicuddy. What? McGillicuddy. McGillicuddy? Mm -hmm. Ah, but that isn't the worst. The first name is Thaddeus. Mr. Thaddeus McGillicuddy. Can you stand it? I've always wanted to be Mr. Thaddeus McGillicuddy. And uh, where are the McGillicuddy's going on their honeymoon? To the South Seas, and we sail this afternoon. And what's more, we're going on a very exclusive, a very exclusive tram steamer. Tram steamer? Mm -hmm. We're the only passenger. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Anything to do with love. And if you should find a moon up in the sky and love on your mind, baby, don't you cry. Just save it till I come your way. Hmm? Any old love today? Predicted that boy be a star the minute I saw him. Do you still want me to go on telling him he's no good? Uh, uh, by the way, Rooney ought to be here right now to sign his contract. Is Terry Rooney out there? He's not here, Mr. Well, fine. I'm waiting for him. Good. Good. I'm getting tired of saying good. Oh, hey, a terrible thing has happened. We can't find him. Terry Rooney. He's disappeared. He's gone. We can't find him. He's vanished. Oh, I see. <laughs> and you're all afraid to tell Regan. Well, now, don't quarrel, boy. Let me tell him. Disappeared. I hope the poor boy didn't commit suicide. That's ridiculous. Yeah? He's got some pretty rough treatment around here. I make a star out of him, and you call it rough treatment. Get on the telephone. Call his orchestra. Call New York. Hank, we've got to find that boy. First, I'll have the harbor drag. Hank, Hank, please, stop. Hank, listen, dear old boy, dear old pal, I'm depending on you now more than I've ever depended on you before. Hire a detective, do anything, but find Rooney and bring him here before he knows he's a success. Now hurry, hurry. Maybe best start with the more. Good, good, excellent, good, good, splendid, oh. Oh. good. <laughs> Not a thing. Hours of working, waiting, wondering. And for what? Nothing. We're no nearer to finding Terry Rooney now than we were when we started. Why do I have to be crucified like this? Any news? Plenty of news. But it's all bad. Nothing but mystery. But I can't get the idea of suicide out of my mind. Torture me with that word once more and you're through with Gator Pictures. Just as anxious to find him as you are. He borrowed five bucks from me the other day in the lunchroom. <laughs> five bucks? Yeah. Five dollars? Yeah. And I am talking in millions. Five bucks means a lot to me on my salary. Hank, find him, and I'll double your salary. Agreed. He's found. I mean, I'll find him. Just a minute. Is this some foul scheme of yours? Are you holding out on me? Oh, B.O. I wouldn't do that. Terry Rooney, where are you? My Terry. <laughs> Here's a 
between the right and left, the right and left. The brown boys against the ropes, the right, white boys feeding into a press. Oh, it's a death feeding each other with the right, the right, the right, the right, the right, the right, come on, white boy. That's it. Oh, and then right, 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 left, right, left. The right boy's the one after the other, one after the other. And the right boy's down. Eight, nine, ten, he's out. We missed the most terrific fight in years. Pandemonium reigns the face in an uproar. <laughs> We ought to take a nice long walk, see if we can get our land ready. Good? Oh, you have such lovely ideas, Jerry. Oh, Mrs. McGillicuddy, I strive to please. In fact, I strive to please Mrs. McGillicuddy. Mm -hmm. What do you do now? Oh, I feel much better. Like your man legs yet? Yes. Thanks, Jerry. Both of them? <laughs> yes. Hey, is there something strange about me? See, people seem to be staring at me. What is it? Oh, it's because you're so beautiful, darling. Oh, you think that's it? Yes. Well, as been said, well, look what we have here. One of those movie palaces. Do you know that in places like these, people actually earn a living making faces? Really? Absolutely. The old man who did it. For example, they do things like this, uh, a double take. And then there would be uh, a triple take, which would... Uh, and there was a triple take with a slow burn with a one-eye fadeaway, which is this. And, uh, Do another one. Another one? Well, there was a Charlie Murray. Always did this. <laughs> now, you see what a motion picture career can do for you? That hey. woman thinks I'm crazy. Come on, make some more faces. Not in your life. I'm through for the evening. But you want to go away, say, I'm just... Is it my imagination or... Do I hear my voice? Well, there's nothing strange in that. You're talking. Well, that's what I mean. 
Singing someplace. Oh, that's any old love from the picture. Oh, Mr. Terry Rooney, please take it. It's a flower. Oh, thank you so much. Thank, oh, you. thank you. Thank you. It's coming from over there. Have you plastered all over the place? Yes, darling. Things have been happening while we've been away. But you didn't tell me they made any records of it. Well, I didn't. They probably took them off the soundtrack. Hi, Mr. Rooney. Your performance is lovely. Thank you. Very fine performance, Mr. Rooney. Thank you. Very, very glad you're back again. Thank you. Oh, please, Mr. Rooney, may I have your autograph? Yes, please. Go May I have your autograph, Mr. Rooney, please? Oh, thank you, Mr. Rooney. Mr. Nothing at all. <laughs> Anybody in my place would have done the same. Um, you're not having a slight attack of swell head, are you? Yes, darling, I'm afraid so. I've got that good old feeling coming over me now. You now owe me $139 million. Mm -hmm. Me a bag of tips. <laughs> I'll settle for a box of candy. You take chewing gum and like it. <laughs> Tommy Hank of the National Guard. Oh, oh, I have to fix my hair, you know. Yeah, you go on and get yourself fixed up. I won't say anything about you. You stay as surprised as Fix the door so that I can hear everything. All right. What I mean is this will work. Who's there? Mr. Regan is here. Regan? Step right this way, sir. Terry, my oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, Terry. Thank you, Mr. Regan. 
Maybe when I say I'm glad to see you, I'm just beginning to talk. Say, Hank, I want you to forgive me for putting this slug on you last time I saw you, but you know. Forget that. I had it coming to me. Where have you been? I've been running myself bold. I've been looking for you. Hey, Terry, right. here's the contract all ready for you to sign. Now, look, Theo, let's get our hellos over with, have a little drink or something, and then we'll talk about the contract later. Oh, well, right? while, you, while you're talking, you just take a look at that money. Oh. Better take a peek, Terry. Hey, Hank, did you read this? Every word of it. They're worth every penny. Do you know what the pictures run across the street? Very well. Very wild. It's terrific. Oh, I can't sign this. What's wrong? Just can't sign it. Why? Oh, I, uh, this, uh, this is Mrs. McGillicuddy. Uh, this is Hank. Nobody knows his last name anymore. And uh, this is Mr. Regan. How do you do? But why can't you sign the contract? The reason herself. Well, what has Mrs. McGillicuddy got to do with the contract? Of course, we don't know what arrangement you had with her, Terry, but this is a... Now, look, Paul said, you don't understand. Rita is my wife. My real name is Mia Gillicuddy, and it says in the contract that I must remain single. Your wife? But you can't. You just can't have a wife. But I have, and I'm going to keep her. Look at that thing, darling. That top floor is there. That's silly. Oh, well, darling, if this is for just one picture, we could go on keeping it a secret. One picture? It's for seven years. And look at the dough. Oh, well, I have an idea. Why couldn't we take less and still be married? <laughs> Hang on to yourself, sweetheart. Now listen, tell me, what is this all about anyway? Don't they have married people in Hollywood? Why a silly clause like that? Don't you understand? You're the potential heart interest of every woman in America. It's your stock in trade. Yes. Isn't that charming? You mean I can handle it? Oh. Look, if you think I'm going to give up this gal for any movie contract, you are crazy. Now, it's over very nice, and I thank you. But we are going back where we belong, with the bank. Well, it's very sweet of you, darling. But this is too important to decide like that. Why couldn't I go to Hollywood as just a visitor? As this is Thaddeus McGillicuddy. <whistles> what a moniker. Thaddeus McGillicuddy. We like it. Are you kidding, Terry? Oh, no. Absolutely on the level. I'm sorry, Hank. But they did it to me when I was asleep. <laughs> well, I'm glad you woke up in time to change it. Well, couldn't I? Couldn't you? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I got it. Come here, B.O. Listen to this. Come here, Terry. Would you be willing to go down to Hollywood and go to work? I mean, uh, take a job, a color-up job? Why, certainly. That's swell. Now we've got nothing to worry about. Here's what you do. You come down to Hollywood as Terry's confidential secretary. Take care of all his personal affairs. Fan mail and all that stuff, huh? Hey, you do that? Of course, darling. I think it's marvelous. You're a genius. Sometimes. Sometimes I think I deserve more dough. All right, come on. Sometimes. Give me the contract. <laughs> yeah, Terry. Okay. Hamilton, that's no body. Hi, Daisy. Hello, Mr. Hay. Glad to see you. Well, morning. How's oh, everything, Snooks? Don't Snooks me. What, I ask you, what is that? What? Oh, that was, uh, it's a bungalow. Yes, I know, but who? Who? Well, I don't know. Wait a minute, let me see. Now, say. don't stall with me, you know. Do I? It's Terry Rooney. Is it? You know darn well it is. Five rooms and three baths. What, I ask you, is he going to do with three baths? He's now running a laundry, although he should be. Who lives here? Mrs. McGillicuddy. Uh, this is her hideaway. You remember Mrs. McGillicuddy? Yes, I have a vague recollection. <laughs> and you come to see her. Oh, do I? Every night? No, not every night. The neighbors might talk. Who? Oh. The neighbors. The neighbors. Mm -hmm. Who cares for the neighbors? <laughs> That'll take care of them. <laughs> Look, why don't you get some lights on in here? It's well, why don't you take off your glasses? Oh, never thought of that. You look silly in them anyway. I suppose I gotta go on wearing these. Well, thank you. Good idea. I see. Oh, and here's the stairway. It leads up to two of the cutest bedrooms you ever saw. How many? Two. You can rent out the other one. <laughs> so you think I should work? Carry him along, eh? Help build him up? Now, listen, darling. 
You come in with me on this, and I'll team you with Rooney for more publicity than you've seen in a year. Get this. Hollywood's newest love interest. You like it? Mm -hmm. I'll eat it up. <laughs> I'll do it. Good. For Gaylor. Good again. And I'll get started with the story. Leave it to me, honey. I'll show you some publicity. Just All for me. All right. Wait. Cut, cut, cut. Steffi, darling, what is the matter? You're not giving me anything. Can I make a love scene with a icicle? He doesn't give me anything. Nothing. Terry. Oh, I know. I know it's bad. Now, listen. I can give you the scene if you just get these people off the set. Imagine that guy getting to have a medal. Doesn't take long for their heads to start swelling. That's not so. Oh, you too, eh? Listen, don't you go getting gaga over that guy. You're not in his class. He only goes for stars. Like Stephanie. Oh, is that so? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's so. That was no tender and plain. Something upset me on the set. I think I can give you the scene now. All right, Charlie, but look. Warm up to Stephanie a little bit. She needs it. Oh, sure. Uh, Stephanie. Yes? Uh, please forgive me for blowing up. You see, you're such a very great actress. I'm, I'm practically no actor at all. I never even expected to be on the same set with you. See, I... I guess I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> it's so sweet of you to say those things to me. You go through it once again, Ethan? <laughs> I will. All right, let's do it once again now. Come on. Action! But I can't give you up like this, darling. But it is so difficult to see you as they are now. But I can't give up hope. It's all I have. Maybe someday you'll be far in a place. Oh, no. No far away place, darling. No far away place. Here and now. Here and now. Is that what you mean? Perfect! If I have talent. Sorry, Canary, I had to do that to you. I had to. But the only reason I came on the set is because I haven't seen you for two or three days. Yeah, I know. But I couldn't play that love scene when I knew you were there standing watching me. I had an impulse to drop her and rush over to you. But if I want to play a love scene with you, Terry. Now, you're not going to try to get away from me, are you? But, no, but Won't I... Won't do you I'm any good? All the doors are locked. Uh, uh, look in the window. All the windows can take care of themselves. But, Ethan. Uh, Ethan's too smart. Hi, Terry. Oh, don't you ever knock, chump? Uh, I see you're rehearsing a little scene you told me about. It looks good, too. Mm. A critic, huh? Well, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Thanks. It certainly does look good. Uh, I'd like to have you know Miss Robbins. How do you do, Mr. Rooney? Oh, uh, how do you do, Miss Robbins? How do you do? I'm, I'm very happy to meet you. Uh, you were just going over the fan mail situation. Oh, I thought it was rehearsing. <laughs> well, yes and no, you see. Uh, sometimes they uh, rehearse while they're running through the fan mail. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm glad you do. Miss McGillicuddy, will you run and see if the mail is ready to sign, By the please? Way, pardon me. Thanks. Uh, she's my confidential secretary. Very confidential, I expect. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised. They're pretty, too. Yeah, we think so, don't we, Terry? Well, for a secretary. But then again, the average one of girls around here, very high standard of looks, you know. Uh, well, uh, if you'll excuse me, I'll, I'll run inside and get out of this collar before it cuts my throat. Well, right ahead. Take your time, Terry. Hey, wait a minute. What are you up to now? Just a little blind item for my column. Oh. What rising young star was caught making love to his pretty secretary? Now, listen. If you print that story, you're going to ruin two lives. What lies? Yours and mine. Oh. First of all, if you print it, I'm going to sock you on the nose. Oh. And if I sock you on the nose, I'm going to lose my job. So figure it out. But it's a story. Yeah? Well, there's a bigger story than that around here if somebody was bright enough to spot it. What? Listen. 
Do you think Terry Rooney would be fooling around with a funny little secretary with a glamorous dame like Stephanie Hales here in the studio? Oh, hey. Ah, you better sharpen your pencil. That's very interesting. <laughs> now, there's one thing I'm sure all our readers will want to know. Huh? What is your ideal of feminine beauty? Well, I, uh... <laughs> well, that's a funny thing that you'd ask him a question like that. You know, Terry was saying to me only this morning that his idea of feminine beauty is Stephanie Hale. A little less uh, statuesque than uh, Venus de Milo, perhaps. More delicate, possibly. More flaming. Am I right, Terrence? Exactly my word. In fact, practically verbatim. How lovely. Now, Mr. Rooney, won't you tell me what was your first, your childhood love? Well, you mm. see, when Terry was well, a kid... Uh, oh, Hank, may I handle this one? Mm. Please. Well... My first, my childhood love, oh, that goes way back, way back. In fact, she was the dog catcher's daughter in my hometown. And every time my pooch was snatched... Your what? Or rather, every time they snatched my pooch, oh. she'd get it back to me by hook or by crook. In fact, it happened so often that her old man began to think my dog was quintuplet. <laughs> <laughs> One of the characteristic things about Terry is his love for animals. Yes, particularly dogs. Please, honorable master, yes. excuse me, humble servant. Oh, do you want me on the set? Such a pleasure. Well, I'm awfully sorry to break up this luncheon with Frank. Awfully pleasant. Well, it's been delightful. You will come again, will you? Oh, yes, thank Please you so do. much. I've enjoyed it. And uh, anything you want, just call Ito. He's here. Hank, thanks so much. What a quaint servant. What's his name? Uh, Ito. Ito. Oh, he adores Terry. Why, when Terry disappeared, we had trouble restraining Ito from committing Charlie Terry, or uh, Harry Carroll. <laughs> a nice interview, wasn't it? Did you uh, get everything you wanted? Plenty. Any hugs, Steve? Hi, Terry boy. How are you feeling? Fine. Good. Here's your ticket. Tickets for what? Tickets for the opening of the park land tonight. You're taking Stephanie. Oh, yes? I'm not going to any opening tonight. What do you mean you're not going to any opening? I am not going to any opening tonight. I've been working for a week on this. The reporters, the photographers, they're all going to be there. It's important to me. Now, look, you can save yourself all that. I am not going to any opening. Oh, stand still and let me talk to you, will you, Terry? What do you want to act like this for? Wait a minute, what about Stephanie? You can take her and put her back in the woodwork. Oh, don't be so unreasonable. When I say a thing's important, it's important. Now, can't you stand still? Now, look, I've got a wife, and I like her. And I'm going to see her once in a while. Cut out that wife stuff, will you? I'm not going to any opening. Come here and listen to me, will you? What do you want to be such a bullhead? Call Mr. Regan on the phone and tell him to go right over to Rooney's bungalow. Yes, sir. That boy's gone nuts again. Get me Regan's office. Quick, certainly it's important. Now, Terry, why don't you mean for me? You know what I do for you. Why, I work my head to the bone to put you on top. And I cut my arm off to, off to here to keep you there. Having me run around every night with Stephanie Hale to keep me on top, huh? Say, what am I, an actor or a stooge? I'm supposed to be an actor. Well, at least that's the rumor. Well, if I'm not good enough, I can always go back with the band. And something tells me I'd be a whole lot happier if I did. But, Terry, you've got a duty to the... I've got a duty to myself and my wife. And that fine, elaborate scheme that you cooked up in San Francisco isn't going to work either. It's got me and Rita absolutely insane. While I'm out to previews and openings and cocktail parties and, and, and testimonial dinners, go for the glory of dear old Gaylaw, she sits up in the hills twiddling her thumb. She isn't yelling, is she? No, she's too good a sport for that. But I know how she feels, and I don't blame her. He's right, Theo. Of course he is. Entirely unfair to Rita. I can see now the whole situation has been a terrific strain on her. Terry, will you let me do something for your commission? May I? Hank, get a drawing room to New York. Wire the office there and get a reservation to the best hotel and get tickets for every theater in town. Right. For Rita. Now, what kind of a solution is well, that in? That's only half the plan. Terry, when you finish this picture, I'm going to give you four weeks' vacation to go to New York and be with Rita. That's great, B.O. There you are, Terry. That solves the problem. Wait a minute. Let me understand this. You promised me four weeks off after I finished this picture? Yes. Four weeks? Successively? Successively and positively. If you go to the opening tonight. That's great. Come on, Terry. 
That's quality, B.O. Gee, what a grand time those two kids are going to have in those four weeks. What four weeks? Every time he puts his vest on, I think of Regan. All front and no back. What time do you think he'll be home? Oh, I don't know, darling. You know how these things are. I may have to stay in town if I expect to be on the set at 9 in the morning. Do you have to go? Well, you know, practically a command performance. Darling, listen to me. This isn't going to work out, trying to live this way. I know that. It's a dog's life for you, and... I don't mind telling you that it's getting the best of me. It's driving me crazy. Well, look, darling, you've got an idea. How would you like to go east and visit your mother and see the boys while I finish the picture? Uh, I could join you in, say, oh, three or four weeks, and then we could go someplace together where nobody ever heard of the picture. All right, if you want me to. Now, wait. I didn't say I wanted you to. I just thought it might be a good idea. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. I'm not going. Oh, yes, you've got to go. I am not going. But you made a promise, and you mustn't break it. Yes, it is. Do you understand? Perfectly. Wait, you have one? No. Well, you don't like the idea of going east. Well, I, I really haven't given it much thought. You said you wanted me to go. I did not say I wanted you to go. Oh, I must have misunderstood. All I meant to say was that Regan promised if I went to the opening tonight, you could go east and I could possibly join you later. That's all. Well, then, by all means, go. What is the matter with us? Here we are standing here arguing like a couple of children over nothing at all. No, nothing. You've arranged for me to go east, that's all. And I'm going. I did not arrange for you to go eat. Oh, let's not talk about that again. Here, put on your coat and go to your opening. Oh. I have a lot of packing to do anyway, and you don't want to be in the way if you stay. I probably would. I traded my heart for 
Mr. Richard. Can we have five minutes, please? Can you have five minutes? You're taking it, aren't you? Oh. Go on back and get your hello go. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Baby, when I heard that voice, I knew it was right away. Oh, boy, am I happy. Is she coming back to sing Mr. Bang? I'm going to ask her to. Yes, I saw Terry in Hollywood. Everything is coming along beautifully for him, and he's coming east in about four weeks. Is there any truth to the stories in the paper about him and that hair's thing? Just a lot of press agent drool. You sure? Well, I know the press agent. Boy, I'm sure glad to hear that. We were all beginning to get worried, weren't yeah. we, fellas? Yeah, we thought, well, you know what he said when he left the, when he left the band about, uh, about you being on the West Coast and everything? Stop kicking me, will you? Well, I guess I'd better go in and get the piano and warm it up. I think it isn't going to be easy, you know. But you must. I can't stand the idea of hurting you. We've reached the point where you and I are the only things that matter. You know, I feel a little weak. Fair play a love scene? Why not? Oh, oh, you're in the way. Way. Teddy, Teddy, I'm proud of you. Those pear-shaped bones were perfect. Bless your hearts, children. I can kiss you both. Don't you kiss me. I'll let Betty do it. Oh, what gladness. <laughs> I think we are wonderful. No doubt about it. Come on, let's go in and say hello to Terry. Hello, Mr. Rooney. Hello. Amy, hey, darling. Hello, Jeffy. That last scene was a knockout. Mm. <laughs> you like it, then? Terry, you know Mr. Robinson, of course. Yes, yeah, you. Sure. We're booked for an interview Sunday. Sunday? Oh, yes, that's right. Sunday it is. We'll have a good long gap this time. I'm very happy to see you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go change my tie. Goodbye. Miss Robbins, wouldn't you like to sit down? How's the play coming? Excuse me, nice Mr. Like Blaine. I'm going to steal Amy from you. Oh, yes, of course. Amy, will you come with me while I fix my makeup? You have an interview with me today. I have something most exciting to tell you. Why, Debbie? <laughs> something about Debbie and me. We missed her. Missed Terry, too, of course. But Terry, <laughs> you can kiss him goodbye. He's cooked. What do you mean? Haven't you seen the paper? No. What's the matter, Terry? <laughs> Stephanie Hayes reveals engagement to Rooney. Sensational dancing star and exotic actress plan to make their real romance real when their current picture ends. Shh. Except that there's something terrible that happened. This is just more silly stuff. Doesn't look like silly stuff there. Don't be ridiculous. Besides, it's impossible for him to be engaged to Steffi. Why is it impossible? Why? Because we... Well, we hadn't intended to telling you until he came in, but... We're married. Married? <laughs> Why didn't you tell us? <laughs> we thought you were working out there. Now, wait a minute. How can they fret about him being engaged to her when all the time he's married to you? That's what I've been trying to tell you. Well, let me... Let me Give you All right, take your places, girls, please. Come on. Oh, come on, girls, please. Blaine. Just a minute, Hank, please. I want to talk to you, Blaine. All right, what is it? Relax, girls. You've seen this, haven't you? What? Well, she certainly laid it on thick. Yeah, but you can read that later. Now, listen, nobody has got to Terry with this yet. Nobody is going to get to him. I've got both doors guarded. Well, that boy will kill me if he sees this story. Why should he kill you? As a publicity gag, it's all right. Yeah, but there's a lot more than you can see. You can take my word for that. Murder is the least he'll do to me. Where's Stephanie? I don't know. She's not working today. Yeah, I know that. Does she happen to say where she's gone? No. Well, she's not home, and I've paged every beauty shop in Hollywood. Girls already in waiting? Oh, yes, please. Very nice, very nice. Oh, well, very cute. Very cute. Oh, do you like it? Oh, Mr. Blaine. Huh? This the one I'm supposed to marry? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> My luck. 
I get how goes it? All right. Well, what's any press agent pick you up to now? No, no, you're wrong. I'm working on a high spiritual plane. Oh, praying, my boy. Praying, huh? You'll never know how hard I'm praying. Oh, nice boy. Well, what's doing? Who's murdering who today? Oh, nobody murdered anybody. Give me that. I'm doing a crossword puzzle in here. I'll get you another one. You need that, have you? I'm ready whenever you are. All right, Terry. My dear Terry, I want to be the first to congratulate you. On what? On what? Get out of here. What is this? It's B.O.'s orders that you're not to be disturbed while you're working. And he ought to know better than that. Congratulations, Terry, my boy. Oh! What is the matter with you? There's nothing the matter with me. It's an old superstition that an actor can't be congratulated until his picture is finished. Oh. He ought to know that. How are you, boy? He's out. Yeah, he's out cold. Take him outside. Give him a little air. That's all he needs. I brought him for your scrapbook. You make a little. Uh, wait a minute. So this is what you've been doing. You've been trying to keep this from me. I haven't tried to keep anything from you, Terry. Mm -hmm. My word of honor, I have nothing to do with this. Your idea of publicity. My idea, nothing. Take my word for it, Terry. I had nothing to do with it. I am your friend. Let me explain the thing to you, will you? I have nothing to do with that, Terry. You've got to believe me, will you? Let me explain it to you. Now, will you go away? Where's Edo? 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 Follow Mr. Rooney to his bungalow and beg him to stay there till I come, will you? What a day and what a life! Oh, Mr. Hank! Mr. Hank! Miss Hales just goes up to her bungalow. Miss Hales? That lets me out. Hold everything! I'll see you later, Daisy. You're excused. I don't know whether to kill you for that story or kiss you for showing up. How dare you? Oh, now, don't give me that how dare you stuff today, Steffi. You got me in a jam. Well, I only did what you told me to do and got Gaylor Studio a million dollars worth of publicity. I certainly didn't tell you to say you were engaged. Do you mean to tell me that he objects to being engaged to me for a few weeks? Objects? He does nothing but object. I, Stefani Hayus, the great star, condescend to think my name with this uh, hooper? And he objects, he objects, I won't speak to him again. I won't even finish the picture. Tell my public I am through. Oh, you're through, all right, unless you go with me to Terry Rooney's house and tell him you're responsible for this. You'll go off and have to drag it by the hair of the head. You can't talk to me like this. I never wanted to smack a woman, but I'm awful close to it right now. Well, go ahead and strike me, you woman striker. Oh, Steffi, I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I suppose I'll have to. The boy is married. Things like this. Because we were trying to keep it a secret. Trying, it seems to me, you have succeeded. Now, you don't want to hurt Terry and his wife, do you? Oh, I don't want to hurt anyone. I've been hurt so many, many times. I know what it is to be hurt. Mm. I will go with you. Mm. But please, please don't go anywhere. Oh, darling, you're a haywire dame. But I love you. Come on, let's get out. I shall beat it, and I shall not come back. I bid you good day. <laughs> bid you good day. <laughs> oh, Grandpappy's cracking up under the strain. I fear poor old Grandpappy is going nuts. Get on the wire, will you? Will you please call him? All right. If it'll make you fellas any happy. You think it was your husband instead of mine? Am I worried? No, I'm not worried, but you're... Hello. I want to put in a person-to-person -person call for Terry Rooney at the Gaylor Studios in Hollywood. Yes. You're going to see how ridiculous all this is. Imagine doubting Terry. I thought he was going to get us in his second picture. Oh, but Candy, it wasn't that kind of a picture. There wasn't a band in it. Every picture's got a band in it. At least a fiddle. No. Oh, well then, try Hollywood. One, two, five, two, one. That's our hideaway. It's the cutest little house. Hello? Hello. 
Is Mr. Cherry Rooney there? Who is he speaking? This is a friend of his. Hello? What's the matter, Rita? You win. It was Stephanie Hales at the house. Gee, I'm sorry, Chisholm. Don't be. Can't stand people being sorry. At our hideaway. He took her to our house. Our house. Like the old saying, as you sow. So what? I'll get it. Hello, Mr. Richard. Well, how are you, boys? Would you really like to know? Yes, and how's the little lady? Oh, uh, swell. She's well, fine. Oh, is there anything? Well, hello there. I'm glad to see you. We finally got the break at last. It's on the front page of every newspaper in town that Mrs. Terry Rooney is singing at the Palomino Roof. How did you know I was Mrs. Terry Rooney? Well, I overheard you telling the boys on the st and uh, while I was standing in the bar, and a newspaper man, a friend of mine, uh, overheard me mention it. Well, Mrs. Terry Rooney is not singing at the Palomino Roof. Oh, now listen, girlie. And don't call me girlie. If you think you can use us just because you overheard what I was telling the boys, you're wrong. Now listen. For one night only, just for tonight, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Every table has been reserved by telephone. We sold out before we opened. There'll be a riot if Mrs. Terry Rooney doesn't appear. Get out. Oh, now listen. She set out. And brother, she don't mean in. Oh, so that's the way it is, huh? Well, now let me tell you fellas something. You get down there and get those instruments before they hit the ash can. Boys, you'd better go with him. You'll be all right. Just sit tight, chick, and everything's right. going to be right back up. I've got to get my food. Mr. Rooney, may I congratulate you? I hope you'll have a lot of happiness. Something the matter? Is there anything I can do for you? No, thank you. I can't think of anything that would help. Oh. Well, do you still want us? Do, do I still want? It'll cost you 2,000 bucks for the night, and we knock off at 12.30. Oh, listen to reason. Give us a quick yes or no. Yes. And in advance. Boys, you can trust me. And, and in advance. advance. OK, Maurice. Yes, Maurice, uh, no, hurry up, get those waiters uh, Get some more tables. Let's, Let's, see. Let's see, you want eight uppers, eight lowers, and a compartment, right? No compartment. I'll take the lower. All right, go on, boys. Get ready. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? I take great pleasure in personally introducing to you Mrs. Terry Rooney.
you know the cabin? We all are. We're getting out of here. Where's Rita? She's on, doing her number. Can't go along with us. Wait a minute, Terry. I won't interfere. She's made up her mind. Made up her mind to what? About getting out of here. Hello. You go in there and tell the boy to stop my music. I can't do that, Terry. She told me. Get in there and tell the boy to stop my music. Come on. Get into your cage. 